Marinating a chicken breast can add a little zip to dinner. It only takes about 30 minutes and you probably have all the ingredients in your kitchen right now. So there are five things to think about when you're making a marinade. First, there's acid, there's some oil, there's flavor, some salt, and a little bit of thyme. So when it comes to acid, what are you gonna use? You can use citrus juice, wine, buttermilk, yogurt, vinegar, anything that's acidic will work. So for this particular marinade today, I'm gonna use lemon juice, but because of course I wanna think about flavors down the road, I'm gonna zest it first. Using a microplane to get the zest makes it really, really easy. When I'm talking about zest, I'm talking about just the yellow part of the peel, not any of that white pith. So I'm gonna save that zest for later when I want some more flavor, but here's the acid. I'm gonna cut this open. I'm gonna just squeeze that juice into a bowl. Now I'm not worried about the pits going into the marinade because I'm not gonna cook or eat them anyway, so save yourself the trouble of trying to fish them out. Now with the oil, the oil goes into the marinade to help transfer all the flavors around. And you want about twice as much oil as you have acid. So you don't have to measure it exactly, just do your best guess and about twice as much oil as acid. Now let's talk about flavors. You want to beat them up a little bit. Garlic, I'm going to put some garlic cloves in here, but I want to smash them to help release that flavor. With herbs, pick whatever you like, but don't pick all of them. Try to keep your flavor focused. We're doing citrus and herbs today. Then just pick one or two and beat them up. Crunch them a little bit, bruise them so that they release their oils and their flavors. You can even take some, like if it's rosemary, take some of that herb off the stem, chop it up, and make sure that you get that flavor into the marinade. This is where I'm gonna put that lemon zest back into the marinade as well for extra flavor. Now it's time to talk about salt. You don't want too much salt, just a little bit. We're not pickling or brining here. We're just seasoning the marinade, helping that flavor to get inside the chicken. Salt, pepper, and then we're just gonna mix it up. Now, the next thing to talk about is how much time we need in order for things to marinate. If you're marinating fish or shellfish, you don't wanna marinate much longer than 15 minutes. Otherwise, the acids start to cook the fish. For chicken, if you're short on time, here's a way to make it a little faster. Pierce the chicken with the meat tenderizer. That'll create holes in the chicken breast and the marinade will have an easier time getting inside, flavoring the entire chicken. Pour the marinade on top. And then this is good to go in about 30 minutes. A longer is better. If you have overnight, do it overnight. But if you're in a rush, like most of us are, 30 minutes will be fine. If you're gonna marinate this for longer than 30 minutes, you're gonna wanna cover this and put it in the fridge. Up to 30 minutes, it's okay to leave it on the counter. So a marinade is really easy to make. You just need to have some acid, about twice as much oil, some beat up flavors, a little bit of salt, and about 30 minutes, and you can take your dinner and give it a little bit of zing. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click over here. If you'd like to see everything I used today, click over here. And if you have any comments or suggestions for more basics, put them in the comments section right below.